A few years ago, a routine CT scan picked up something scary. There was a, a little bit of panic because then it's the next thought of, okay, how do we get it out? Imagine this. You're heading to the doctor for a routine checkup, expecting a clean bill of health, but during the visit, the doctor stumbles upon something unexpected. For over a century, x-rays have been invaluable for diagnosing fractures and broken bones. However, they sometimes reveal more than just physical injuries. They can uncover hidden surprises, forgotten objects, bizarre items, or mysterious anomalies that have been quietly lurking in the body for years. What could be the most astonishing discovery made by an x-ray? Let's explore some of the strangest things discovered by x-rays, from a woman who feasted on batteries to a kid who had a taste for magnets. But before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe. Battery Ingestion In a bizarre case in Ireland, doctors faced an alarming situation when a woman was found to have swallowed an astonishing 55 batteries. She'd been suffering from severe stomach pain and vomiting, leading her to seek medical help. X-rays revealed a shocking discovery. Dozens of batteries were stuck throughout her stomach and intestines. Faced with this unusual and dangerous scenario, the medical team performed a complex three-hour surgery to remove all 55 batteries. However, the damage left behind by these power sources was severe. The batteries had caused significant harm to the woman's stomach and intestines, leading to serious complications such as the risk of infection, internal tears, and bleeding. Despite the successful removal, the long-term impact of the injuries could potentially lead to ongoing health issues for the woman. A magnetic mishap. Haley, a curious and playful eight-year-old, recently found herself in a terrifying situation while innocently playing with her magnetic building blocks. She unknowingly swallowed several small magnetic pieces. Her parents, occupied with other tasks, didn't realize what had happened. The next day, Haley was in excruciating pain, prompting her concerned parents to rush her to the hospital. When doctors reviewed Haley's x-rays, they were shocked to find she'd swallowed 20 steel marbles and 10 magnets. The result was eight tears in her intestines that required immediate attention. Despite the gravity of the situation, Haley showed tremendous resilience. The medical team quickly performed a delicate surgery to remove the harmful objects. Amazingly, Haley survived and after two weeks in intensive care, was finally discharged, much to her family's relief. Refusing to let the incident fade, Haley's family took legal action against the toy manufacturer, resulting in a recall of four million of their magnetic toys. Although shaken by the ordeal, the family was grateful to have Haley back home safe and sound. A dangerous mission. Soldiers are usually meticulous in planning their strategies, but one Ukrainian soldier took an unexpected and dangerous approach. In a bizarre move, he swallowed a hand grenade, intending to turn himself into a human bomb. An x-ray revealed the grenade lodged in his stomach. Fortunately for him, he overlooked a crucial detail. Once the grenade is inside, there's no way to pull the pin. Faced with this tense and high-stakes situation, Ukrainian military doctors were tasked with the dangerous job of removing the live grenade from the soldier's chest. Leading the operation was Andrei Verba, one of Ukraine's top military surgeons working alongside experts in explosives and combat engineering. Their role extended beyond just assisting. They had to ensure the safety of the medical team during this delicate and risky surgery. The team had to think fast and work meticulously to prevent any chance of the grenade detonating. Normal surgical methods like using heat or cauterizing tools were out of the question as they might have triggered an explosion. Instead, they relied on precision and deep expertise to safely extract the grenade from beneath the soldier's heart. Thanks to the skillful handling of the situation, the operation was a success. The 28-year-old soldier made a full recovery, much to the relief of his fellow soldiers and the medical staff. A Swallowed Treasure Joseph Bravo Ramos' story adds a bizarre twist to crime. Arrested while driving a stolen vehicle linked to a robbery in Safety Harbor, Ramos soon found himself in even deeper trouble. Before being transferred to Pinellas County Jail, a routine x-ray scan revealed something shocking. Ramos had swallowed two gold necklaces to hide them. Sheriff Bob was stunned when he saw the x-ray, which clearly showed the tangled jewelry inside Ramos' stomach. Doctors had to surgically remove the necklaces to prevent serious health complications. While X-ray scanners in Pinellas and Sarasota County jails are typically used to detect contraband like drugs or weapons, finding jewelry inside a subject was a first for authorities. Ramos ultimately ended up in jail without the stolen goods, facing additional charges. The necklaces were returned to their rightful owner, though she might have had second thoughts about keeping them after their strange journey. 
an engaged nightmare. Jenna Evans, a bride-to-be from California, had an unforgettable night that combined humor and horror. She had a vivid dream in which she swallowed her engagement ring to protect it from some sinister characters. However, when she woke up, she realized with a shock that she had actually swallowed her ring while she slept. There was a bit of panic as she and her fiancé Bobby Howell rushed to the emergency room. Jenna could barely explain the surreal situation, torn between fits of laughter and anxiety. A quick x-ray confirmed her worst fear. The engagement ring was indeed sitting in her stomach. Rather than waiting for the ring to pass naturally, doctors opted to perform an upper endoscopy, a procedure in which a thin tube equipped with a camera is used to retrieve objects from the upper digestive tract. Thankfully, the medical team successfully recovered the ring from Jenna's intestines. Bobby was beyond relieved to have the ring back, and Jenna, while still amused by the whole experience, promised never to let it happen again. Bizarre Cases in a bizarre incident in Fuzhou, China, a man sought medical help for intense stomach pain, unaware of the true cause of his agony. An x-ray revealed something shocking, a bottle lodged in his abdomen. The mystery was quickly solved when the man admitted to inserting the bottle himself in a risky act. However, his ordeal worsened when he tried to remove the bottle using a hooked wire, which also became trapped inside him. With no other options, doctors performed surgery to remove both the bottle and the wire. The operation was complex as the wire had pierced the man's stomach in several places. Despite the challenges, the surgical team successfully extracted the object, though the man was left with serious injuries due to his dangerous attempt. In a separate, equally strange case in Madhya Pradesh, India, doctors operated on an elderly man to remove a small metal cup from his body. The man had been persuaded by unqualified individuals to insert the cup, believing it would relieve his stomach discomfort following their advice led to a blockage that required surgical intervention. The spoon in the throat We've all experienced the discomfort of having something stuck in our throats, even something as small as a piece of food. But one man's story takes this to a whole new level. In an act of foolishness, he swallowed a spoon on a dare from his friends, thinking little of it at the time. For a whole year, he continued his life normally, unaware of the danger lurking within. However, after receiving a sudden blow to his chest one day, he began to have trouble breathing. Panicked, he rushed to the hospital, believing the punch was the cause of his respiratory issues. Once there, an x-ray revealed something astonishing. The spoon he'd swallowed a year earlier was still lodged in his throat. This posed a severe risk to his life as it could lead to dangerous infections and blockages. The medical team immediately acted, performing emergency surgery to remove the spoon which was now coated in mucus and posing a significant health threat. Thanks to the quick actions of the doctors, the man survived the ordeal, though the experience left a lasting impression on him. A delicate situation A 53-year-old man entered a hospital in Colombia, his face flushed with embarrassment. He was suffering from intense pain in his backside, but felt too mortified to explain the situation to the doctors. What neither he nor the medical staff could anticipate was just how shocking the discovery would be. During the initial physical exam, nothing seemed out of the ordinary, however, an x-ray quickly revealed a startling find. A large light bulb was lodged deep within his rectum, astonishing the medical team. Further analysis revealed the situation was more delicate than initially assumed. The doctors warned that if the extraction proved too challenging, surgery might be required. The man would need to be under anesthesia, with his muscles fully relaxed to avoid further complications. They explained that a vacuum effect could occur if the object became stuck, which would potentially pull the light bulb even deeper, risking serious injury. Although the exact method of removal wasn't publicly shared, one thing is certain, the man was incredibly lucky the bulb didn't shatter inside him. The medical team described the entire procedure as both intricate and nerve-wracking, likening it to defusing a bomb. Knives in the Stomach in a tense operating room, a team of seasoned doctors faced a 40-year-old man harboring a shocking secret. For two months, he'd been swallowing knives. Lead surgeon Dr. Jender Malhotra, with over two decades of experience, described the case as both disturbing and terrifying, even for a team that had seen it all. The man's compulsion to consume metal left them baffled and deeply concerned. The tension was palpable as every move in the operating room carried immense risk. After two days of meticulous planning, the team embarked on a five-hour surgery knowing that one wrong step could spell disaster. In the end, they successfully extracted 49 knives from the man's stomach. Some were folded, others fully opened, and several were rusted or broken. 
Dr. Malhotra suspected the man might be suffering from an undiagnosed mental disorder, possibly one never before documented. The surgery took place in the sacred city of Amzan, northern India, and his family finally breathed a sigh of relief, knowing he was on the road to recovery. In another bizarre case from Mandi, India, doctors were equally shocked to find a collection of unusual items in another patient's stomach. This time it wasn't knives, but rather objects typically found in a handyman's toolbox. Seven spoons, two toothbrushes, two small screwdrivers, a knife and a metal rod. Rushed to the hospital with severe stomach pain, an X-ray revealed the startling contents. Led by Dr. Serge Parage, the surgical team discovered that the tip of the knife was already poking through the man's stomach lining. After a careful and grueling four-hour surgery, they successfully removed the items, leaving the patient stable and everyone involved astonished. A bizarre craving. Imagine suffering from a stomach ache only to discover it's due to having swallowed cutlery. This was the bizarre story for 52-year-old Margaret Dolman, a secretary from the Netherlands. Her stomach had become a storage unit for forks and spoons. When she arrived at the hospital, doctors were shocked by the X-ray, which revealed an astonishing 78 pieces of cutlery lodged in her stomach. It was as if she had a buffet of silverware inside her. Surgeons carefully extracted each utensil one by one. Margaret wasn't eating food, she was consuming the cutlery itself. She was diagnosed with pica, a disorder where individuals feel compelled to eat non-food items. Margaret's urge focused on silverware, leading to multiple hospital visits. Despite being diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, she couldn't explain why she avoided knives. After the surgery, Margaret made a full recovery and began therapy to address the underlying causes of her peculiar habit. Nail in the head Dante Ulo, a 32-year-old from Illinois, was building a shed in his backyard when an extraordinary incident occurred. While using a nail gun overhead, he suddenly felt a sharp pain, but assumed a nail had just grazed his scalp and dismissed it as a minor injury. I heard a nail go in. I thought it went in and went past my ear. The next day, Dante began feeling lightheaded and unwell. Realizing something was seriously wrong, his partner, Gail Glaner, rushed him to the hospital. An X-ray revealed the shocking cause a 3.5-inch nail embedded in Dante's skull. The situation was critical, and doctors quickly transferred him to a specialized brain injury center for emergency surgery. Surgeons successfully removed the nail, but part of Dante's skull had to be replaced with titanium mesh. When shown the x-ray, Dante was stunned. The doctors assured him it wasn't a joke and showed him the nail that had been lodged in his head. Miraculously, the nail had stopped just short of causing fatal damage. Despite the terrifying ordeal, Dante kept his sense of humor, with Gale referring to him as a medical miracle. His case highlights how deceptively severe nail gun injuries can be. These powerful tools commonly used in construction are responsible for numerous injuries each year, particularly on job sites. Scissors and Surgical Tools Laughter is often considered the best medicine, but for 27-year-old Lin Kong from China, it nearly turned fatal. During a meal with friends, Lin used nail scissors as a makeshift toothpick, a decision that led to an unexpected crisis. As a friend cracked a joke, Lin's laughter caused him to suddenly swallow the small scissors. Attempts to cough them up only pushed the sharp points deeper into his throat, causing severe pain. By the time Lin reached the hospital, he was in critical condition, pale, sweating and struggling to swallow. An x-ray revealed that the four-inch scissors were lodged deep in his esophagus, with the sharp points dangerously close to his epiglottis. Dr. Chen and his team quickly determined that surgery was necessary. However, they avoided using general anesthesia to prevent the scissors from slipping further. In a tense 30-minute procedure under local anesthesia, the team successfully removed the scissors, leaving Lin with only minimal internal scarring. In another alarming case, 69-year-old Pat Skinner endured months of unexplained pain following surgery at St. George Hospital in Australia. An X-ray eventually revealed the shocking cause, a 6.7-inch pair of surgical scissors had been left inside her abdomen. The scissors, forgotten during a procedure in May 2001, weren't discovered until October 2002. Although the hospital quickly apologized, acknowledging human error, Pat sought legal action to ensure such negligence wouldn't happen again. Similarly, Sylvie Dubert from Montreal experienced sharp shoulder pain after ovarian cancer surgery, only to discover later that a large metal plate had been left inside her. In Vietnam, a man named Mavan lived with 18 years of pain following a car accident, only to discover a pair of rusty forceps had been left inside him during surgery. Bobby pin inside a boy's kidney 
In a peculiar case documented in BMJ case reports, a four-year-old boy from Saudi Arabia took his curiosity to an unexpected level by swallowing a hairpin. What began as innocent exploration turned into a medical mystery that caused the boy months of discomfort and pain. At first, the boy's parents believed he was suffering from a urinary tract infection, or UTI, as he complained of sharp pains and exhibited symptoms of a UTI. After several rounds of antibiotics with no improvement, his parents sought further medical help. An X-ray revealed the surprising culprit, a bobby pin lodged in his abdomen. When the boy was transferred to King Abdulaziz Medical City for further evaluation, doctors discovered the pin had traveled through his digestive system and pierced his right kidney. The hairpin, now rusted from the body's digestive fluids, had migrated through the duodenum, the beginning of the small intestine, and embedded itself in the kidney. After a careful surgical procedure, the doctor successfully removed the pin. Remarkably, the boy made a full recovery without any lasting complications. Canon Rectum when most people think of storing cans, they picture them on shelves, not inside their bodies. However, for one middle-aged patient, an ordinary day took a bizarre turn when he ended up in the emergency room with severe abdominal pain. An X-ray revealed the shocking cause, a can lodged deep inside his rectum. With no visible signs of a blockage, the medical team was initially baffled. Given the urgency, the patient was taken into emergency surgery within 12 hours. The operation was delicate, as the can had caused significant internal damage. The surgical team worked meticulously to extract it without causing further complications. Fortunately, the patient's life was saved, and he made a full recovery despite the unusual circumstances. This case underscores the unexpected situations that medical professionals frequently encounter. Incidents involving foreign objects in the rectum are more common than many realize. Medical reports document various items being retrieved by surgeons, including glass bottles, vegetables, and even light bulbs. These situations often stem from accidents, risky behavior, or unconventional medical practices. Cell phone In the capital of Kosovo, Pristina, a 33-year-old man was rushed to the hospital with severe stomach pain. What the doctors discovered was shocking. He'd swallowed an entire Nokia 3310 cell phone, which had become lodged in his stomach. Fortunately, under the intense pressure of his digestive system, the phone had broken into three pieces, making the surgery less complicated than it could have been. However, a serious danger remained. The phone's battery had become loose and was floating freely inside his stomach, creating a risk of chemical exposure. The surgical team had to act quickly to remove both the battery and the remaining pieces of the phone before any toxins could cause harm. The lead surgeon shared stunning images on social media showing the extracted phone parts, X-rays and endoscope images that capture the foreign object lodged inside the man's body. Remarkably, despite being in such a harsh environment, the phone was still mostly intact, looking more like it had been dropped a few times rather than swallowed whole. These extreme cases of foreign objects inside the human body demonstrate the bizarre lengths to which people sometimes go, whether out of distress, compulsion or accident. A medical mystery. Doctors were left astounded after an X-ray of a man revealed something previously unseen in medical science. The patient, who came in with complaints of discomfort, underwent routine imaging. What the medical team discovered would change their understanding of the human anatomy. The X-ray revealed that his penis had a unique internal structure, unlike anything they'd ever encountered. It resembled a cartilage-like structure extending beyond the usual boundaries of anatomy, challenging the norms of medical knowledge. The discovery sparked an international conversation in medical circles. Specialists from various fields were drawn into the investigation, trying to understand the origins of this unusual anatomy. Doctors speculated that the condition might be related to Peyronie's disease or priapism. However, given the unique nature of the structure, some experts suggested it could be a previously unidentified medical condition. Further research and investigation would be necessary to definitively diagnose the patient's condition and understand the implications of this discovery. Could this man's unusual anatomy unlock new medical possibilities? Which of these crazy things found by X-Ray do you find most fascinating? Let us know your answer in the comments section. See you in the next one.